One man is dead after a jet ski accident in Ontario County, and two others, including an eight-year-old boy, have been sent to the hospital. Here's what we know on this developing story. The incident happening on a private pond off County Road 4 in Hopewell, which is in Ontario County, just outside Canandaigua. Now, as the investigation into what happened begins, officials are urging people to be safe on the water. That man and that young boy were on speedboats, just like the ones you see behind me, riding on a private lake in Hopewell here in Ontario County when that tragic boating accident took place. Here on County Road 4 sits a private pond. It was there during a gathering that 36-year-old Raymond Foster was on a jet ski with an 8-year-old boy sitting behind him. Uh, the male operating the jet ski was making several aggressive maneuvers and turns, and at one point the jet ski actually rolled over on its side ejecting the two off of the jet ski. After the accident, bystanders entered the water trying to help, including 38-year-old Christopher Barber. Sheriff says Barber suffered from a previous medical condition once he entered the water, and when deputies arrived on scene, Barber was unconscious, pronounced dead at a nearby hospital hours later. Both the jet ski driver and the 8-year-old boy were given CPR at the scene. The boy was taken to a hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. Deputies say neither rider was wearing a life jacket, a violation of state law that could lead to criminal charges. Uh, he should have uh, had a life vest on, on both himself and the young boy, but also he put that young boy in harm's way. That's why we're looking at this and we'll consult with the district attorney's office. And now a message for others. We want folks to come in and enjoy our lake. We, we want you to come down, ha have a good time, but we want them to be safe. The sheriff's office is expecting many more boaters to be hitting the waters as the weather gets warmer and reminds everybody to be safe and wear a life jacket. Reporting in Canandaigua, Atia Collins, News 8.